Yeah, it looked like the eye is prolapsed, which means that the entire eye is sticking out. It'd be nice if that was some covering it, but at this point, I'm not sure if it's just really swollen and we can't see the eye itself, or it's actually really part of the eye, but I'm definitely gonna need some surgery here. I wanna relax and give a little gas anesthesia. We'll go slow and hope that this is just a lot of tissue around the eye itself. Once I kind of pry and open it up, maybe some discharge there and it got an abscess and there's pus there. Kind of what I'm hoping. Yeah, it may be like conjunctivitis where the pink part of your eye gets so inflamed that it's overtaking the eye. Okay. Worst case scenario, of course, the eye is involved in there and, and we have it. to remove it, yes. We really have to explore that area that we see to try to see how much involvement with the eye there is, which will determine if we are able to save that eye or not. We're gonna do all we can to save the eye. I can okay. tell you that, okay? Worst case scenario. I'm gonna end up with a one-eyed snake. We'll see here, okay? Okay. All right, it's gonna be all right. Be right back, okay? Be right here. All right. I'm hoping Dr. Ferguson can get him back to me as healthy as possible. George is definitely part of the family and he's gotta get better. Give a little anesthesia and let's see if we can just probe and see what's going on. I'm really hoping that it's an abscess that we can open up and drain and the eye is still fine underneath. Is that like some purulent stuff? Mm hmm. Is that pulse? Yes, it is. All right. Mm hmm. Yummy. Do you see his eye? Still hard to see in there. Can you get me some irrigating solution? All right, Doc. We got a lot of pus up in here. My hope is that this abscess tree flush right here. Flush hard right there. Okay, hold up. Mm. Andrea. Oh. Mm, mm, mm. You're talking about some caseous material right there. Mm. As bad as that look, it's giving us some hope. You gotta see the eye down in there, Andrea. So. You think you see it? Yep, I think there's just bad abscess on top of it. I don't want to trim much of this tissue here because there's really a lot of conjunctiva around the eye. So we're gonna apply some ointment. But that pink that we're seeing is a lot of conjunctiva, just really inflamed. There's still a possibility that I will have to be removed, but I want to give it a chance. And my hope is that once we get a lot of inflammation out of here, that we'll still be able to see and we'll be able to retain the eye. Hello. All right. We did a little surgery, and we got a lot of pulse material out of there. Okay. We didn't remove the eye now. There's still a lot of that tissue that's still there inflamed. We got it flushed out. We're going to send home an antibiotic with you. We got a pain meds. We're going to do sub-Q. And we got an ointment. Oh, he's going to love that. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> My hope is, fingers crossed, that we can save this eye, OK? Very good. All right, but I want to recheck this thing in a week. If it still looks the same, then we're going to have to remove the eye. I'm just hoping that a lot of this pink material around here, we can get it all shrink down. OK. Thank you. All right, all thank right. you. Yes, sir. The fact that he's got both eyes, I'm tremendously relieved. I'm hoping the follow-up visit is a he's good to go. Take him back home and enjoy him for many years.